Maria Triplett of Starkville, Mississippi. And joining me today is my co-host, Skip Phillips of Spartanburg, South Carolina. And we'd like to welcome you to today's Teaching Kitchen. Yes, featuring five-star executive chef, founder of Sidewalk Chef Kitchen, Chef Shisha. This live Teaching Kitchen is brought to you by Cytel Fit, with the goal of supporting our 90,000 associates in 29 countries. Cytel Fit allows us to work together to make an impact. Absolutely. And Skip, you're absolutely right. With our Cytel Fit it program, it is the Cytel Group's wellness platform where we help associates become healthier and happier. While we're and waiting on fashionably late friends, why don't you go ahead in the comment section and tell us where you're joining us from? We want to know where you're joining from, right, Skip? Absolutely. And one of the reasons that we've teamed up with Chef Shashank with Sidewalk Kitchen for this live is because of his active lifestyle and the kitchen's fast and healthy menu options. And in these days of pandemics and stuff, you have to keep your health, right? That's right. Awesome. You're exactly Eat right. Healthy. Eat healthy, stay healthy. Yeah, because health is wealth. That's absolutely right. I've heard that, yeah. That's a sidewalk chef kitchens, that's their motto. Health is well. All right, so let's move on to the reason why we're here. We're gonna learn a new recipe. Auburn Smith, our communication specialist, lovely communication specialist, is on site with the chef. And during this live session, Chef Shashank is going to teach Maria, myself, and all of you watching, how to make spaghetti squash. Behind awesome. the scenes, yeah, behind the scenes, you and I, Maria, will be adding commentary and sharing our thoughts each step of the way. And at the very end, we will take questions from the comments and do a Q&A with Chef Shashank. So let's bring them in now. Over to you, Miss Auburn. Thanks, Skip. I'm here with Chef Shashank. Um, Chef, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself as well as your beautiful restaurant? Uh, well, my name is Chef Shashank. I was, uh, I'm from Bombay, India. I came here in 1974. I got my bachelor's in restaurant management from FIU. Uh, I did a 411 mile in high school. I was an all-American track guy. Uh, and I got into cooking. And uh, cooking, I cooked for a couple of presidents. Um, Bush 41 and Bill Clinton, and uh, then I slowly morphed out of the nightlife uh, cooking and decided to open a healthy meal uh, prep kitchen for people like-minded who think healthy and want to stay healthy. And like my partner Barbara says, you know, it wasn't, uh, it's, it's a way of life it, uh, if you want to live, basically, is what, what, why we do this. It's not a fad diet, it's not a fly-by-night thing, it's, it's a way of life. So we decided to open this cute little small place <laughs> that we call home. And that's why we named it the kitchen. I didn't want to name it a cafe or a bistro or a diner or something like that. We just needed it was straight up. It's your kitchen. So that's how we came up with this idea. And uh, we've, we've done really well so far. And, and tomorrow we'll be three years old somehow. We survived the pandemic. <laughs> Uh, somehow the hand of God was on us and we, all the parameters came to us by eating health, uh, by individually packed meals, uh, sealed. Uh, I think all roads came to us and uh, we have been doing well with this concept. And everybody wants to eat healthy. Uh, nobody wants to have a buffet style, anything. Um, and that's what we do. Awesome. And for those of you who are watching us, at home, we are quarantined clean. There's nobody else here. It's just Chef, I, and the lovely Barbara. And we will be socially distanced the whole time, of course. Um, I think if you're ready, happy early birthday, and let's get this party started. Okay, let's go. Spaghetti squash. Okay. This is the spaghetti squash, by the way. And uh, just
just so you people know, I generally sharpen, always try to sharpen your knives before you try to cut anything, especially the hard, hard top. So I'm going to sharpen my knife, and then I'm just going to spray it off. Okay. Now, the trick to cutting a spaghetti squash is kind of hard, so put it a cloth next to under your just in between your cutting board and the and the and the product. And what I would do is it's it's just a leverage. You don't need to fight it. So my first thing is focus straight down as you can see and then you just use a leverage and just ride the knife. And then just go around and just finish the cut. You see this? That's how generally simple it is. <laughs> and this is how it opens up. Spaghetti squash. Nice. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to take the core out with a spoon. Simple, not complicated. Uh, there you go. Take the seeds out because you don't want that to. Uh, doesn't matter really, but it's okay. Danger zone. <laughs> no, hitting seeds. Yeah, launching seeds. So here's another one. Here. And what I do generally now that it's cored, as you can see, it's well done, cored up. I then move on to my, my just a plain salt and pepper uh, little mix. I don't know if you're familiar with Salt Bay, but it's giving me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So that's that. Okay. And uh, then what I do is I place it upside down in a pan and put a little bit of water so that it gives it a moisture base when you're putting it in the oven. So it doesn't take away from the moisture from the, from the spaghetti squash. It'll, it'll suck the water out, right? So now what I do is I put it in the oven with the water, as you can tell, just, just enough to cover the pan and close it, turn it on about 350 for uh, 10 minutes. Okay. You don't need to go any more long, any longer than that. Okay. Turn the oven on, and there, there you have it. And you said 350 for 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes. Okay. As some, as, uh, if you have a convection oven, it works. In a regular oven, maybe a little longer, because convection ovens are faster, and this is an industrial one. Okay. So at home, you may not have that. So, you know, okay. Uh, so then, uh, this is my cooking apparatus here. What I do is... Um, I'm going to take out the spaghetti squash that I've already cooked. Okay. So this way you, you know, try to be ahead of the game. And so this is the spaghetti Ooh. squash that the, you see the steam coming out of it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's fully cooked. Incredible. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how easy that is to Again, uh, you don't need any complex kitchen gadgetry. It's a fork and a spoon. Not that complicated. <laughs> so all you do, you see how it's coming out? Ooh. It's a little hot, so. Uh, you just, just follow the skin and it'll come, you see that? Beautiful. Yeah, just like a spaghetti pasta source. Mm-hmm. Now that's, that's that. That's just, hence the term spaghetti squash. It smells so good. I wish you all were here with me. <laughs> it smells delicious. So then what I'm going to do is, now that the squash is out, ready, um, this is a flat top. So I'm just going to put a little bit of coconut oil. I use coconut oil. Okay, coconut oil. Got it. Then, uh, these are shallots that are ground up. They're like a stronger onion. This is garlic that's ground up also and this is ginger okay. so shallots garlic and ginger in coconut oil and the spaghetti squash that has been taken out and cored then you go right on it you don't have to use your hands i'm using it because i'm used to it but uh, okay. generally, uh, I would noted the audience, you do not need to put your hands on the hot stove. <laughs> <laughs> Important safety tip there. The aroma.
aromas are so good. And then you just toss it around lightly. You don't have to beat it. It's just, it's already beaten up. So okay. you don't need a little salt. Yeah, you could use it. In, you could use a saute pan if you don't have. I'm sure everybody doesn't have a flat top at home, but you know you can use that. And uh, so that's. And of course, at home you can put your finger in and taste it. I've done it many times, so I kind of know what it's going to be like. Flavor profile. And, uh, then we've got some impossible uh, bee balls for the vegans. For the vegans out there, these are for you. Shout out to the vegans. Mmm. <laughs> uh, uh, a bison meatball. So I'm gonna make show you how to make two different uh, dishes with the spaghetti squash as the focal point. Okay. And the two different, uh, okay. The real question is here in the comments. Tell us if you can spot the difference between the vegan version and the non-vegan version. <laughs> We have a lot of people in the chat just scratching their head because they look the same. <laughs> we have a house made marinara sauce that we use. Uh, you can take a look at it. Chef, let us know they have a house made marinara sauce. I'm not sure if the video is doing the aromas justice, but it smells delicious. If I could, I would just like scoop. I won't. <laughs> so now this is how we dress up our dish here. Is uh, a little, little bit of spaghetti squash here, so it goes on the, the, or in the plate. Uh, then come on over on this side. This is the two, so we split this up. Lay it on, just like that. Now you can take your pick. You want the, you want to give the vegans the first, first hit. I'll give a try with for the vegans. For the audience watching, I'm lucky enough to get to try, and I can. This is the best part. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, now for the vegans, I have a cheese that I made out of nuts. Oh, interesting. Uh, so it, it kind of uh, has a profile of Parmesan. Huh? Okay. Yeah, cashews, typically the nuts. And so that's how that is. And uh, then we will do a similar setup. To okay. The, the meat eaters. <laughs> <laughs> Me! <laughs> and for those of you who might have missed it, Chef said that they do a vegan cheese option here made out of nuts. All right, so we're at Sidewalk Chef Kitchen in Fort Lauderdale. Um, again, if you all want to come visit, check us out. Their birthday party is tomorrow, and I must say the menu sounds phenomenal. They are doing a two-for-one, bring a friend that's never been here, and they get to eat for the free 99. So, of course, bring a friend. Uh, this is a set, similar setup with that, as you can see. Uh, and I'm going to put the bison meatballs on top. Bison meatballs coming in hot. Got it. And then that's the real Parmesan cheese. The real parm. Yeah. Can the real parm <laughs> please stand up? <laughs> so, uh, that's dishes, vegan. Finished vegan. versions. Again, which one is the vegan? Which one is not vegan? Beautiful, chef. Okay. Now we go outside. Yes. I do not mind at all. <laughs> I can smell it from North Carolina. It's It's wonderful. Beautiful. So, uh, Incredible. All right, chef. Okay. Well. Okay, team. I'm going to give this a little taste test. And then we're going to move fair. into some, some Q&A with chef. Okay. Just to let you all know, I am doing this with one hand. So pretty impressive, right? <laughs> all right. And can you remind the audience, Chef, what are we eating? Okay, that's spaghetti squash sautéed with garlic, shallots, and ginger. Salt, pepper. That's it. Less is more. And uh, that's uh, a bison meatball. Okay. Uh, 
which is, you know, we, we uh, don't add any additives or any breadcrumb or anything to our bison. It's just straight up bison with, uh, again, ginger, garlic, shallots, and uh, we try to keep everything simple, Mi you know, minimalistic. Okay, friends. Less is more. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we use, uh, the, another thing about bison is it's got more protein. It's grass-fed, for one thing. And it has uh, got more protein. It has a better flavor profile. Uh, less fat. So a lot of the, we, uh, by the way, our new uh, uh, audience now is a lot of MMA, martial arts fighters. Really? Yeah, we do a whole bunch of them. We've got some middleweights, heavyweights, world champions. I'm not talking, uh, you know, street walk. <laughs> They're, not they're, just they're people. Yeah, they're not uh, they're out to paint hard. Okay. So we do. I do a lot of meals for them as they get to their fight weights or their fight times. So two weeks in, two weeks out, I feed them a controlled diet, uh, and a lot of them have bison. You know, uh, sixty grams sometimes of protein, and they love that because the bison that I make and the turkey burgers, the same profile. We don't add any additives. There's no. Uh, breadcrumbs, there's no eggs, there's no must, you know, ketchup, stuff that people add, heavy creams. Okay. So that's not a regular meatball. I mean, how was it? So I'm left speechless. That was amazing. It was like a blast of flavors yeah, yeah. from like so few ingredients. Yeah, yeah. It, it's incredible. Less yes, precisely. Less is more. And the less additives that I put in your food, the better it is for you. Yes. Uh, you know, your body process. You know, it, it makes it a lot easier. So for those of you who are watching, this is a testimonial that this meal was amazing. If you all want to check out Sidewalk Chef Kitchen, come out to Fort Lauderdale. Um, you'll see the banner with the address. Um, and if you are an MMA fighter looking for someone oh, yeah. to control your diet, this is the place yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, while I dive more into this meal, Skip and Maria, any comments? Um, do we have some questions that we might be able to ask Chef? I've got a few here that have okay. come in. I guess the, the first one is, do you have any tips on how to pick the best squash? Is a larger squash or a smaller squash? What What is it? Uh, Skip, depends on the time of the year. Uh, uh, I'm, I think, you know, size uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> no pun intended. But, uh, you know, I, I guess it depends on the time of the year, honestly, Skip, because uh, sometimes uh, as it seasons out, it, uh, the skin gets a little harder. Uh, okay. As the seasons in, it's a little softer. And, you know, sometimes the smaller ones, you can get the, the pasta thread, as I call it, it's just as good, if not better. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. So, so now we've got a question that came in about your past... Um, what was Bill Clinton's favorite meal, and how about Bush also? Well, ironically, the, the director of catering for the White House wanted me to do just about the same thing that I did for Bush 41, which was a stuffed veal loin uh, mm. with walnuts, uh, spinach, mushrooms, I think, and uh, a pate of sorts. That was the, the main course was basically the same for both of them. My desserts were different for Mrs. Bush and Bush 41. But uh, Bill Clinton, uh, I think I made a, a, another kind of a mousse tart key lime of sorts because, you know, we're in Florida, all that. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, uh, yeah. So that was fortunately the main course was the same. And, and the 41, his girl, uh, the catering girl, liked it so much. That she goes, don't change a thing. And, uh, you know, of course, I cook for Dan Quayle, and the one thing we did serve was quail. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and broccoli, I think Mr. Bush didn't, well, he didn't like it. I'm not sure who. Somebody no, I, it, yeah, I, I think I, limits, so. I remember broccoli being off limits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, is, I got another question in here, and I'm thinking it is, but the spaghetti. Uh, squash dinner that you just made is paleo friendly, correct? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there's lovely Maria. How are you doing over there? Can you smell that? Can you smell that from where you're? 
You know, it looks scrumptious. And Chef Shashank, I wanted to ask you, because I know you have such great experience. Um, what about uh, like the lunch and learn? Do you do teaching lessons? So if someone wanted to have, you know, to learn more of how to create or prepare healthy and nutritious meals, um, do you offer teaching lessons or yeah, lunch and learn? Fact, we did that once a month before this COVID thing uh where took everything down because uh, you know then we could have we, and we used to have a beautiful setup here like a semicircle and i'd bring the kitchen out to you here in our dining room and uh we had a really good time uh and and it was very i had it interactive so i had you know cutting boards and people would come up come up you know the bold ones and uh you know who are not scared of knives and all that so yeah we we do do that we did offer it for the last i think the first two years we did it and the last year, you know, as you know, everything went to hell. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. And how many seats does this sidewalk chef kitchen hold? Uh, we have 40. 40. OK. Yeah. So if we were to come for lunch and learn, um, would it be uh, for the entire? How does that work? How do you with the COVID-19 now being one of our concerns? How do you prepare for a lunch and learn if we were um, to invite our CITEL um, executives there? Uh, we would do individually, uh, like, for example, meals or, or different menu items instead of calling them meals. Menu items, we can put them in an individually sealed uh, container like we do for our meal packages and our meal preps. And uh, we could socially distance the tables out a little more. Because there's some spaces here that we can we can use. We don't use them, you know, generally because it's like a walkway in. So, so that's how we would do it. And even our desserts, we have them individual desserts, like uh, our parfaits that are on little glass jars. They're kind of cool. So we could individualize everything for you. And all our cookies that are there, our vegan cookies, they're all individually wrapped. Uh, uh, now the favorite expression now is I W whatever that, you know, so <laughs> that's, that's that, you know, macaroons. Oh, yes. So, I was eyeing the sweets. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we would approach that lunch and learn. That's that awesome. That's awesome. Great. We thank you so very much, Chef Shashan. Now, Skip, do, uh, are there any more questions? I know there are a lot of viewers out there that are interested in Chef Shashan's recipe and his recipe. I guess the, the biggest question that's coming through is, do you cater and how far will you go? Uh, yes, we do cater. And uh, Boca to Miami, I think, is our our uh, parameters. I mean, I, I could fly up to where you are, Skip, and cater for you. <laughs> well, that would be, would you add it to the bill, though? That that would be that would be my concern, you know. I I don't want the spaghetti squash dinner to become like a two thousand dollar meal, yeah. right? Yeah, we'll make sure of that. And Skip, if you don't mind, I'd like to um, ask one question from Chef myself. So I'm sure. looking at his incredible just award after award for multiple um, fitness accomplishments. And you know, at at Cytel, we we really believe in being Cytel fit and yeah. making one small change. So my question to you is looking at this wall, what is your like most prized accomplishment? Mine? Yes. Oh, um, well, the, the cooking. Yeah, that's the Florida track and seal. That's an all American um, jersey or jacket or, or t-shirt as you call it. Amazing. And that's from 1975, I believe. Yeah. Okay, 1975, really yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And then, of course, the cooking awards are very uh, humbling, you know. Okay. It's, it's, been a lot, it's been a lot of hard work. Uh, and it's been a rough, uh, it's not an easy profession. I mean, yeah. everybody's job is hard, I get that. But uh, this is, it's, it's hard. It, it takes it takes your breath away. <laughs> well, I'll say this meal took my breath away, and I really felt the love. Even if it took, you know, as a really quick, easy at-home meal, I feel so much love, and it's in the flavor. Yeah, so yeah. I appreciate that, and I'm so happy um, to be here with you all today. Oh, so, <laughs> um, sorry, Skip. I just had to know. <laughs> well, that you have to know, and you know now. <laughs> so, so are we going to put the banner up so people can uh, 
have the directions to get to that sidewalk chef kitchen there it is right there 6500 northwest 12th ave number 101 in fort lauderdale florida and the zip is 33309 put it in your gps and get there quickly yeah and the times are 11 a.m to 4 p.m eastern so be there or be square amen thanks Help. for joining us Help everyone well. thank you so much chef shashan right, thank you morning, Auburn. Welcome. i appreciate it Thank you. We are so grateful that you took the time to help yeah, us out that today. Was, that was wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And we look forward to seeing you soon, Chef. Thank you again. Thank you. Come on down. We're here. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.